All right, good afternoon, everyone. We're coming to you live here from the Kanji River Bridge here in Fort Kanji. As I was saying earlier, the bridge is really falling apart. The bridge is falling apart. Um, so sad. Um, I was on top of the bridge. I started a video on my personal page on top of the bridge and a sand truck was passing and the bridge was shaking. The bridge was shaking. I'm not lying, I swear. It was, you know, vibrating. Um, but this is the bridge here. Kanji River Bridge constructed, well, opened on February the 23rd, 1978 by then uh, Minister S.S. Narine and built under the Burnham administration. The bridge was really built with a lot of strong materials because it has stood the test of times. There was never any major work on the bridge, major repaving and so on. It was, there was never the bridge. Original material still stands. They repainted these the other day, but the bridge is very old and I'm sad to say that it it's you know it's kind of being neglected by several governments now several administrations have been neglecting the structure especially in the seams here many of this openings that we see are the various seams Very, very sad state of affairs here at the Kanji Bridge. The rubber material there. And this is not this administration, it's several administrations have neglected to take care of this structure. The past one, the present one the one before that there is no marking here to, for pedestrians so drivers can encroach anywhere inside where people walk and drive because they don't have anything guiding them nowhere to delineate where a pedestrian should be walking that's a very 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 dangerous situation if you ask me right See this truck coming he can come in and sl slam me here because there is nothing guiding him, him but he's just using his conscience there is no marking here There are these steel plates that have been installed throughout the structure. They're different joints and they make an annoying sound. Well, they are supposed to replace the rubberized material that was that the built the bridge was built with. But it got worn out as time goes by. Wear and tear. The rubber material was built with the bridge, but the rubber material has eroded over year of due to use usage. And they put these steel plates to substitute the rubber material, the rubberized material. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Sad to say though, I, I really believe the bridge is neglected and it's falling apart. I ain't attacking anybody, I ain't... I'm just bringing to you what I'm seeing. And as I said, this is, this is not the fault of any particular, particular administration. It's the fault of all the administrations, all the governments in the past 25 years, 30 years, did not... 
did not put out a substantial amount in their budget to really you know do so do major work on this bridge and if this allows to continue um, we might not have a bridge in decades to come so if these things are not if if are not paid uh, if attention is not paid to these things i think we we're, we're going to be in a lot of trouble in the long run all right let's continue down the bridge you're watching little guy on the 592 news here on this rainy day here in 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 Barbies, east Barbies. is it raining where you're watching from um look at another thing is all these bushes here like why can't they be cleared suppose some something jump out and bite somebody and attack somebody in the night when maybe a security guard is walking home on his bicycle a lot of pedestrians use this bridge I believe they should really put back, redraw the pedestrian lines on this bridge. They have, you know, as I said, on, I was doing a video on my personal page. Burnham built a good thing here with some of the best material. But it, it has lived out its, its usefulness and safety, I believe. Um, but, but uh, it was a good, strong bridge over the years. You know? All right, so we're entering New Amsterdam proper now. We wanna say good afternoon to all of our viewers, wherever you're watching from. On this rainy afternoon here. This is a sign that entering New Amsterdam. That's the New Amsterdam Technical Institute over there. Very, very rainy afternoon here. <laughs> That's traffic approaching the bridge. You are watching Little Guy on a 592 News here. All right, so guess what? Here, we're gonna walk down. And that's, we're gonna pass several places. That's the New Amsterdam Technical Institute. That's the New Amsterdam Psychiatric, the National Psychiatric Hospital here. And we are technically in Fort Kanji. This is the New Amsterdam Technical Institute. Very, very rainy day. 
blessings on the motherland, as I said. Anybody who attended N uh, NATI, NATI? And they recently celebrated their 50th anniversary at the New Amsterdam Technical Institute a few months ago. Hey. Well, this is some rain, guys. This is some rain. Is it the rainy season right now? Yes, yes, yes. Very, very good landscaping always. New Amsterdam Technical Institute has a well-kept lawn, always did have a well-kept lawn. Wow. Hot sun, well it's raining here, it's nice and cool here. Hot sun at number 67. We want to welcome all of our viewers, wherever you're tuned in from. And that's the St. Aloysius School in there. St. Aloysius Primary School. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys a few places. <laughs> and the New Amsterdam Hospital starts from here. The compound. Very windy, man. Very windy. Over here is the, or used to be the drug, drugs bond for the Ministry of Health, where they store drugs. This is the guy in the Forestry Commission, Barbie's office. This is the National Psychiatric Hospital. The National Psychiatric Hospital here. So this is the forestry office. And this, can anybody tell me where, what, what, build, what this building is? Anybody on the live? Someone in the live tell me what this building is. In the meantime, this is the National Psychiatric Hospital, some of the chalets. Yeah. Can anybody tell me what this building is? Well, Shanaz lives here, so Shanaz knows. This is the new Amsterdam. This is the passport office. This is a new 
passport office they built and commission so um, Barbicians don't have to go to Georgetown anymore to renew their passports. And this is really a savior to the community. Shaves off a lot of time to do to renew passports and stuff. So let's go out back. <clears throat> Next up is New Amsterdam Hospital and then the Burbies High School. And then we're gonna take a stroll through Princess Elizabeth Road if time permits. And we're going to end the broadcast at the New Amsterdam Tongue Arch. So share the live. The more shares and likes we have, the more live videos we can do here. I can do here on Little Guyana 592 News. As we come to you live here from the beautiful tongue of New Amsterdam. From New York to New Amsterdam. And New York was previously called New Amsterdam because uh, when it was uh, uh, when it was under the Dutch, you know, and this is the hospital over there. The hospital that is has a lot of criticisms by many. So many criticisms and horror stories, but also a few positive ones. But the majority, we don't hear much of the positive stories, but we know anytime there's any tragedy, we hear about it from this place here, the New Amsterdam Public Hospital. Right, so that's in your Amsterdam hospital here. That's a blood bank over there. That's the hospital buildings, administrative buildings and the wards and so on. That's the doctor's quarters, the Cuban brigade, doctor's quarters. This is the entrance to the New Amsterdam Hospital. <coughs> right? Okay, let's move on. Guys, it is pouring. Y'all should have told me that <laughs> it's rainy season right now. That's a doctor's quarters over there. Coming up to Barbies High School soon. That's the Barnum Park here. And they're putting down a synthetic track in this park. 
That'll be a first, a first for Barbies. They're doing a lot of works over there. And I will become a synthetic track over there at the Barnum Park. Right? That'll be a major, major project when it's finished. This is the Barbies High School field or the ground. That's where that school holds their sports and so on. Very nice and clean. I like how the areas are all cleaned. <clears throat> and we are approaching the Barbies High School now, which is one of the oldest schools in, in, in Barbies. And one of the oldest in New Amsterdam, built, opened in 1916. Barbie's high school. This is one of the bus sheds, but it's in a very, very bad condition. It was built by the Lions Club of New Amsterdam. You can see the condition. Very, very sad situation there. Well, this has been like this for a long time now. <clears throat> Maybe the Lions Club, if they're watching, Maybe they should resuscitate this bus shed here. You know? Alright, let's move on. That's the school over here. Anybody attended? Uh, is, any, is this the alma mater of anyone watching tonight, today? The Burbies High School. And they celebrated their centenary in 2016. This is the Barbies High School. And you're watching Little Guyana 592 News here. Coming to you live from Greater New Amsterdam here. And it has several buildings in the complex. You are all most welcome. It's a pleasure for us to bring you these, these um, features of our community, of our towns and, and villages here. And in Queens, New York, New York City, Little Guyana. And so that's what Little Guyana 592 News is about. Spreading the culture, sp uh, sharing the news of our people. Happy stories as well as criticisms and constructive criticisms. And yes, we are here in front of the Barbies High School here. Take a good look guys, because I don't know when I'll come back um, here. I 
as a teacher, I attended numerous workshops here as well. Science workshops, English workshops, also Ministry of Education seminars were held here at Burbies High School. So this also brings back some memories to me here. That's a computer lab up there. I think I attended a workshop in this lab as well. This lab was opened by Mr. Tulsi Dayal Singh in his, mem in his um, honor. <clears throat> All right, so let's make our way, make a left here into Princess Elizabeth Road. And we've never done a live through Princess Elizabeth Road. <laughs> Named after Princess Elizabeth, of course. And that's Eureka. Eureka Medical Lab over there. That's where people traveling to the US and other countries go to take their COVID-19 tests among other services offered. That's where I have to go to take my tests. Barbies High School. So let's take a stroll through Princess Elizabeth Road, guys. You're watching Little Guyana 592 News. I'm going as much as uh, where I have time, um, so I will try to see where I can cover, you know? Beautiful, this is a beautiful home, beautiful trees, wow. And more of Barbie's High School here. <laughs> Some new buildings in here I have never seen before. This is Ramdi Hall Memorial Church. Ramdi Hall Memorial Church over here. This is a Presbyterian church. And this is the Ministry of Labor, in fact, Ministry of Social Protection here. Well, this is a one-way road as well. Just replay the video, please. When the video ends, you can watch back the video. But well, we gotta keep moving. This is Ministry of Social Protection here in Labor. as we continue to walk down Princess Elizabeth Road here in New Amsterdam. Redford tree here. And this is Barbie's Inn over there hotel.
Yep. Okay, the rain is, has ended. Not really. Then we're gonna come up to the All Saints Primary School soon, and the, we're gonna and and the All Saints Presbyterian Church, another old church in the town. Some water coconuts here. And this leads out to Espanade Road. <coughs> oh, this is the New Amsterdam Mahasaba Ashram. Yes, very. And over here is the GCOM office. Well, not over here, but. Over here is GCOM's regional office here and the registration office. And traffic moving along here, Princess Elizabeth Road. In the distance we see the Supreme Court or the High Court of New Arms of Barbies, the Barbies High Court. And the registry. And over here is All Saints School Ground. All Saints School Ground. Okay, we're gonna end at, 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 at we're gonna end the broadcast over Esplanade over there. But so let's pass through all scenes here, all scenes ground, and the school. These are old trees here too. You see, very old trees. This is all scenes. primary school <coughs> All Saints Primary School So this is a school here and that's a church over here. <clears throat> that's All Saints School. And this, well, this used to be the old school. It's now serving as a, it's, a, it's now the All Saints Presbyterian Developmental Center here. And over here is the church which controlled the school back in the time, the All Saints Presbyterian Church. Very historic church in the town of New Amsterdam. Very, very historic church.
You are watching Little Guyana 592 News. That's a high court over there. And traffic entering the town here of New Amsterdam. And this, yeah, they call it Scott's Church in the past. Well, still do. You know? Scott's, yep. And we're gonna come up to another historic church that you see in the distance there was given a facelift the other day. Yep. That's another view there of All Saints Presbyterian Church. And the, his, the original sign, one of the old signs there Hey! <laughs> All right. It's such a beautiful scene. <clears throat> and over here. Ryehead Street, this is Ryehead Street. And Main Street, here begins Main Street, the New Amsterdam Tongue Arch. Let's close down. Y'all want me to go further? I'll show you guys the um the masjid, central masjid. Let's go in. That's the Church of the Nazarene over here. This is the foot of the tongue arch. You are watching Little Guyana 592 News. This is where, oh, this is a Charge View gift shop here. This is a Charge View gift shop. <clears throat> it's not in operation now. And this is by VAR, this is where Gateway used to be, I think. No, 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 not, this is not where Gateway, uh, is it? Where the old Gateway Club used to be. Over here is La Carib Diner. On the new management, now this is where, I don't know, why did I continue that? This is La Carib Diner, I don't know what was, I remember what was here before. And over here is the Nalico Nafico insurance office and over here is a treasure of New Amsterdam the central Jama Masjid and annex
This is a central Jama Masjid. An annex. This annex was um, built recently. Well, not so recently. Let's go over to the other side and then I can show you better. So this is really the entrance of the town of New Amsterdam. This is church view. That's the central Jama Masjid. One of the treasures of Burbies, one of the treasures of New Amsterdam. Yep. And this is Church View. Well, named because it's opposite the church. And that's why I guess it was named Church View, you know? Church View. This is the land registry over here. Over there was where the robbery happened the other day, the armed robbery and the shooting at this M. Ali service station. Remember when that armed robbery happened? And, um,. Yeah, we're not going to go further, but uh, this is inside the town of New Amsterdam there. That's Parkway Hotel over there. Parkway. And this is the registry here. That's Parkway. <clears throat> oh, this is charge view. Central Jama Masjid and the annex is over here. All right, okay, so let's go out back, go out side back the other side, um, the arch, and then we're gonna.
We're gonna pass the Church of the Nazarene and then make our way to, and I'll show you guys um, State House and the High Court. <coughs> This is the Church of the Nazarene. Another historic church in the town of New Amsterdam. We're passing under the arch again. Now you have the tanks though. You have to go around the other side of the espanol. <laughs> this is the arch. <clears throat> I remember attending the commissioning of this arch. Oh, what's going on? Oh yeah, there was an accident here a few years ago. Destroyed this part of the arch here. This is the Church of the Nazarene. It was given a facelift the other day, its front part. Such a cool afternoon. I can do this every day if the weather is like this. I can get encouragement to do these videos. It's so cool and breezy right now, you know. And um, and you are again. I, I just want to remind you, you are watching Little Guyana 592 News. And we're going over to the court. Not to watch any case or to try any case, but we're going to show you the high court. This is the highest court in Barbies, the Supreme Court of Judicature. And it's on this cool afternoon here in New Amsterdam. That state house, our government house, back in the day it used to be called. And that's a court over there. Yep. This is State House over here.
traffic coming through the area here and over there is Esplanade Park which is, has been given a new lease on life a few years ago turned very 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 beautiful and unfortunately it's closed right now but this is the High Court the Supreme Court here I like the landscape <coughs> I like the landscape that they've done beautiful plants and so on here very very nice Supreme Court. <clears throat> Esplanade uh, Road here. Here, guys. And Esplanade Park. They've done some landscaping over here, the main town council. Kudos to them. They improved the appearance of the park. Very nice and clean, but they need to open it so the public can benefit from it. I don't know the opening schedule, what it's like, but. All right, so that's it for me here. Take care, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And have yourselves a great uh, evening. Take care, and thanks for watching as usual. Thanks for your time. Thanks for sharing. Coming to you live here from the Esplanade Park.